Hello, welcome back to our spiritual journey as we explore the profound teachings of the Bible. Today, our focus is on 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, and trust me, there's a wealth of wisdom awaiting us. Let's delve into this sacred text together. 1. Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 1 opens with Paul urging the Thessalonians to live in a way that pleases God. This call to holy living is a timeless reminder for all believers. We are encouraged to abound even more, continually seeking to align our lives with God's will. In verse 3, we encounter a powerful message abstaining from sexual immorality. Paul emphasizes the sacredness of our bodies and the importance of self-control. It's a call to honor our vessels as temples of the Holy Spirit. Verses 9 and 10 resonate with the theme of brotherly love. Paul commends the Thessalonians for their love towards fellow believers. It's a reminder that our faith is not a solitary journey but one deeply intertwined with love for our brothers and sisters. Now, verses 13 to 18 offer profound insights into the topic of the resurrection. Paul provides comfort and hope assuring believers that those who have fallen asleep in Christ will rise again. This passage brings solace to our hearts and reinforces the eternal promise of life beyond this earthly realm. Let us bow our heads in prayer. Almighty and gracious God, we thank you for the timeless truths embedded in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. May these words resonate in our hearts, guiding us to live lives that honor and please you. Grant us the strength to embrace self-control, love one another deeply, and find solace in the promise of resurrection. As we reflect on these teachings, may our faith be strengthened, and our lives be a testament to your love and grace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining me in this insightful exploration of 1 Thessalonians, Chapter 4. May you carry these teachings with you throughout the week and may your journey be filled with God's abundant grace. Until our next spiritual encounter, stay blessed. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 Finally, my dear friends, since you belong to the Lord Jesus, we beg and urge you to live as we taught you. Then you will please God. You are already living that way, but try even harder. Remember the instructions we gave you as followers of the Lord Jesus. God wants you to be holy, so don't be immoral in matters of sex. Respect and honor your wife. Don't be a slave of your desires, or live like people who don't know God. You must not cheat any of the Lord's followers in matters of sex. Remember, we warn you that He punishes everyone who does such things. God didn't choose you to be filthy, but to be pure. So if you don't obey these rules, you are not really disobeying us, you are disobeying God, who gives you His Holy Spirit. We don't have to write you about the need to love each other. God has taught you to do this, and you already have shown your love for all of His people in Macedonia. But my dear friends, we ask you to do even more. Try your best to live quietly, to mind your own business, and to work hard just as we taught you to do, then you will be respected by people who are not followers of the Lord, and you won't have to depend on anyone. My friends, we want you to understand how it will be for those followers who have already died. Then you won't grieve over them and be like people who don't have any hope. We believe that Jesus died and was raised to life. We also believe that when God brings Jesus back again, He will bring with Him all who had faith in Jesus before they died. Our Lord Jesus told us that when He comes, we won't go up to meet Him ahead of His followers who have already died. With a loud command and with the shout of the chief angel and the blast of God's trumpet, the Lord will return from heaven. Then those who have faith in Christ before they died will be raised to life. Next, all of us who are still alive will be taken up into the clouds together with them to meet the Lord in the sky. 
From that time on, we will all be with the Lord forever. Therefore, encourage each other with these words. <laughs>